There are additional commands specific to aid climbing. Once the lead climber reaches the upper anchor point, builds a bomber anchor, and fixes the lead line, the leader will yell down to the belayer, lines fixed. Fixed line means the lead line is securely attached to an equalized anchor and the second climber can be begin jugging up the lead line on the cinders once the haul bag is attended to. Next, once the leader has fixed the lead line, the leader will then create his haul system. Once the haul system is completed, the leader then yells down, ready to haul. The belayer then carefully detaches the haul bags from the lower belay anchor before beginning to jug up the main line. As such, there are two separate rope processes taking place. Regarding other partner communications, it is nice to hear from your belayer when you've reached the halfway point of the rope. This is important for gauging your gear inventory on lead. Communicating the halfway point on the lead line is also important if you are not using a second tag line and your haul line is pulling double duty acting as your tag line. This technique only works until you reach the halfway point, so it is critical to keep this line of communication open. See the video on tag lines and retrieving gear mid-pitch. It is also nice for the belayer to yell something like, you got 30 feet of rope left, or some variety of that, so you are aware that it's time to start looking for a spot to build an anchor. You don't want to run out of rope in the middle of nowhere. A leader often states, watch me, when moving through a series of dicey aid placements. This way the belayer is extra attentive. If transitioning from aid climbing to free climbing, the leader might yell, going free, or hey, I'm gonna bust some free moves for a few feet. Make sure to feed me enough rope. At that point, you'll be moving more like a rabbit than a tortoise. The last thing you want is to be short roped by an inattentive belayer as it is important for the belayer to let the leader know how much rope or distance is left, it is important for the leader to communicate as well. When the leader sees the end of the pitch is approaching, meaning the anchor is visible, it is helpful to yell down how far away that you are to the anchor, or communicate an estimate of feet before the anchor is reached. This allows the belayer to start cleaning up the belay anchor and prepare for closing up the haul bag, putting away the port ledge, or securing the unused rack. This will save time once the leader is safely off belay and ready to begin the process of hauling. Lots of time is often wasted big wall climbing, transitioning between climbing and cleaning, and getting the whole show up the cliff, so you can do it all again, pitch after pitch, all the way up the wall. Regarding efficiencies, once the leader reaches the end of the pitch, there are numerous ways to anchor. Hopefully you already know how or you are in well over your head and should have failed anchoring 101. This is where neatness counts. It is, it is what allows for seamless transitions in and out of the anchor. We try to create an equalized point in which we will fix the lead line as well as a separate equalized point in which to haul from. This is ideal, but not always practical, so it helps to be flexible in your anchor skills. Once the lead line is fixed, try to stick to the main verbal commands. Yell down, off belay, lead line's fixed. Then deal with your haul system. Once that is set up, you are ready to haul. You simply yell, ready to haul. If the belayer is on their game, the previous belay anchor was neat and organized, they should be ready to release the pigs, which is what we call the haul bags, from the anchor and yell, haul away. And try to have fun because you'll be doing this aid process till you sit your beat up sorry ass on the summit and contemplate carrying all the gear down the trail.